Hi everybody, it's me Angie. I'm back. How are you all doing today? Um, I thought I'd come along and show you I'm going to make up some a little bit of Glimmer Mist spray. Uh, I saw it um, on a live last night. Colette Garland was doing a live and she bought some Glimmer Mist spray. And the one colour I haven't got is white, so I thought I'd make some and I thought I'd bring you along for the ride to show you how I do it. So um, the first thing I need is obviously a bottle, which is here, like this. It's just a little spray bottle. What I've actually done was, because it's got this on the end, that, that there, I don't know if you can see that, on the end of it, there we go. Focus, 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 I don't know if it's focusing. Anyway, the, the end has got like, um, uh, what do you call that? Like, a, anyway, the reason I bought it like that is to stop the mica from going up into the tube and blocking it. Um, what I also did was, in the bottle, it was long, It's the, the actual tube touched the bottom, so I've cut, snipped a bit off, like that. Snipped a little bit off, like that, that bit. There, snip that off so that it's not actually, the tube's, the bottom of the tube, tube it's not sitting on the bottom of the, the pot you've got a bit of a bit of bit of a gap because when it sits right on the bottom then it sucks up all the mica so that's just a little hint or tip for so we need what we need is some um, rubbing alcohol I got this one off off of eBay it's 70% you can get it more than that it just means it's 70% alcohol and 30% water so the less the more percentage you can get the less water's in it basically some people make them with water anyway but this is how I make mine so also you need um, a little bit of glue I use PVA because this is a white white one I'm doing and PVA dries clear anyway so that's just to make sure that the mica when I put it in when you spray it it actually sticks to the whatever you're spraying really because if you, otherwise it'll just rub off it's like very fine it's a bit like fine glitter um gonna do a white one so i'm using white acrylic paint and obviously then you've got the mica which is just a little bag that i got and i don't know brighton oh i don't know what that says anyway it's just fine mica powder to put in so the only thing i didn't get was scoop or a spoon with a spoon Spoon, spoon, spoon. Let me see if I can find one. Or what am I going to improvise with? Hmm. Right then. Better find a spoon. A knife. I'll be back in a minute. Just going to get a spoon. Who's that? Right, I've got my spoon. Shut the door. And we're away. See, spoon, 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 spoon. Right, so I do it by just by judging. I don't I don't do any set amounts. So first of all, I'm gonna fill up the pot with some alcohol. Depends on how much you want. This is quite a big bottle. I'm not filling it up. I'm just, I just want that amount because I'm not, I'm never going to use that much. But I didn't. I only had the spray bottles like that, the actual bottle, but we're not the spray lid. So that's why I'm using this one. And we need to put some glue, glue in it. You've got to cut the top off. I think you have. Let's cut the top off that. And then. much you need put some glue in just a little squirt put the lid on there there we go so that's the PVA glue squirt paint I think I might have put too much glue in there but I'm not going to lose any sleep over it so I just put a squirt of paint in there 
and then this is all trial and error with your with your mica powder it's just it depends how sparkly you want it to be i suppose oh, I've tipped it now. i'd say about half a teaspoon And then you can just adjust it as, as and when. So basically, ladies and gentlemen, that is it. Give it a good shake. See how white it is. See how white you want it to be. Shake, 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 shake. Shake the bottle. Shake it, shake it. And adjust it accordingly. If it's not white enough, Put some more white in. If it's not sparkly enough, put some more mica in. Let's see what that's like. Let's see, I've got some black card. Let it dry. See how sparkly it is. So I think I need more white paint in that. There it is there with the mica in. And that'll, when that dries, we'll see what that comes up like. So I think there might be enough mica. I just don't think there's enough paint. I need some more paint. I want it to be really, really white. And that's just um, acrylic paint I'm putting in there which is what I do with all my sprays. Shake it up. Shake, 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 shake. It's a bit better. With Christmas coming up as well, it's nice to have white because you can spray it on everything and it looks like frosty then. It frosts everything up. That one didn't come out very white. Hmm. Sparkly. I think I put enough mica in. And that is it, basically. I'll make another one up. I think we'll make up a different colour, but I'll do it in this little bowl. That's the purple one I made. I just used pink violet it was. And that come out lovely, that one. So let's make another one. So that's the white one. So I need a little funnel for this. Some more alcohol. And really, just make up what you need. You, you're never going to use, use lots and lots and lots of one colour. So just make up a small amount. Like that. That amount. That's loads. Absolutely loads. And what colour should we have? Colour, 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 colour. Let's do... Let's do red. Let's do red. It's like um, it's called Viridian, which is like like a sort of green. So, little drop of spot. I think you only need one or two little drops of the PVA glue, or it's better to use clear clear view clear glue. But I didn't have any. So, a couple of drops of that, and it does dry. It does dry clear anyway. PVA. And some, just it accordingly with the paint. One blob, two blobs. And some mica. I'm gonna make a mess, I know I am. Look at the mess I've made. I'm going to be sparkling all day. Mix it up. See if you like the colour. I want it 
needs to be a bit greener than that. Mix, 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 mix. So basically need um, some rubbing alcohol. You can make them with water. It just means that when they go on to your projects, they take longer to dry and sometimes it makes the paper a bit, I don't know what the word is, bendy, not bendy. So yeah, there's the green with the micron. Hmm, he likes that, he likes that. What am I going to spray it with? Into a bowl that sprays. Hang on. This is a bowl. So what I do with mine as well, if you put micro in, it's a good idea to actually put a, a bead in like um, a, a glass bead or something like that, something heavy, so that it helps mix it up in the, initially so that you don't get the clogging at the bottom. Just got to find a bead or pearl or something like that, something heavy. Uh, I haven't got anything to hand. Let's have a look. You got any heavy beads in here? Well, you get the gist of it anyway, because the other ones have got little little beads in, little glass beads or a really heavy bead. Like this one, the yellow one I did. It's got an actual bead in it. Can you hear it? Can you hear it? Just helps it mix the, the micro at the bottom it, and it mixes really quickly. So if you've already got so like that, a glimmer mist, see that all sat at the bottom. If you pop a, a glass bead in, then when you're mixing it, it helps it mix it faster. Drags all the micro off the bottom. So let's have a look at this, see if I like it. If I like this colour off, I need it more intense. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? I like that. Can't see it on black paper. That's a stupid idea, orange. Yeah, so there's the, the green. Yeah, I like that. In fact, I might even move it a bit greener. So yeah, just adjust it. If you want more sparkle, put more mica in. If you want more colour, put more colour in. And if you want it to be like a creamy colour, put some white with this and it makes it creamy. So that's green. I might put some white in actually. Let's put some white in, make it creamier. Because that's the blue, that's the blue there with, with actual white in it as well. So it, it um makes it sort of milky coloured as opposed to Softens the colour up. And the, the key to these is to, just to make sure before you spray that you've mixed everything off the bottom. You can bang it like that on your hands shake just make sure it's all mixed up so let's try it now that's not a very good spray bottle this bottle's rubbish the spray rubbish so that's the white one we did I'm probably going to need to put a bit more um, paint in it because it is really, it's really a lot of rubbing alcohol. So yeah, mix your colours. There was the green I made. And I just mixed some white with it. Like that. 
watch it trickle and it is really sparkly I don't know if you can see it on here but it is really sparkly when it dries so that's that ladies and gentlemen looks like a scientist lab now it's mess everywhere oh I'm so messy so messy put that on there yeah so this isn't just bog standard mica powder you can get it on eBay um, I got two 50 gram packs I think but you, there's loads you, you'll be making it up forever ever and ever and ever yeah and there's me white I just made I'm gonna put some more white with that I'll put some more white paint in that make it really white messy Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Big squirt of white, I think. He thinks that might be more effective. Yeah, so have fun mixing colours. You, Everybody's got acrylic paint. Have, just have fun with it. You can use food colouring. You can use dyes. If you want it sort of clear, if you want it milky colour, just put some white with it as well. And the mad scientist. Let me have a look. See if I like this better. Yeah, that's whiter now. You probably can't see it, but it is whiter. And it dries all really. You can really see the mica in it. So, um, yeah. So that's that's how you do that then. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy um so yeah so i think it's just a matter of trial and error with it you when you make it up first of all use a tiny little bit mix it spray it see if you like it um because you're to be fair that's a massive bottle you ain't going to use all of that but i just have a li tiny little bowl but i would can transfer it over into one of these little bowls um and that one there is the blue that i made for the banner and I've only got a little tiny bit left, but I used the blue and white and mixed it together and it come out like creamy coloured. So it was really nice. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I'll be back soon because I've got lots of projects lined up um, in the pipeline. I've got the love. Um, I've also got that pink dress now that I'm going to cut up. I'm trying to get away from pink if I can just for a little while. So um i hope you enjoyed that little tutorial just my it's my makeup how i make my mica sprays and my glimmer mist sprays um i just bought a pack of the vintage ink spray mist and they are basically just like that alcohol with, with color in them the color them and then they're really nice actually they come out really nice so in the set i got six i paid 20 pounds six and i got a vintage sage vintage lavender vintage what's that word say holly vintage holly so that's green vintage blue so obviously that's blue vintage berry so that's a red one and the last one was vintage rose so yeah and they're really nice colors i just sprayed them all so really nice so yeah don't spend out lots of money if you don't have to if you don't want to um just get some little bottles i got them from pangland the bottles you get four in a pack but two of them have got sprays and two of them are just like that with the lids so you can actually just use the ones that make still make the glimmer mist up but swap over the, the spray bottle the little spray thing just work it through the color that's already in there and then you you're away so yeah so a cheaper alternative oh and the rubbing alcohol i bought it on ebay i got two big bottles like this for something like i think it was something like eight pound for two but two big bottles so i've already used one this is the second one so i'll have to get some more soon so yeah go for rubbing alcohol um 70 percent or up you know that the higher the alcohol content the less water's in it 
and you can get it you can get it from um i think it's 90 percent, but obviously it's more expensive and i like to go for the cheaper option if i can so um i'll speak to you soon take care have a lovely day because i'm gonna have a lovely day and um i'll speak to you later cheers then folks bye